As students head back to school, many are focused on dress codes, and some female students say they're being targeted unfairly. CBS 2's Amy Johnson spoke with students at Pasadena High, where some feel the dress code is already strict and could get even stricter. Many students head back to school during the hottest summer weather, but dress codes can dictate what they wear on campus. We live in Southern California, like to wear tank tops and shorts, like that's like a normal outfit. But tank tops and short shorts aren't permitted at Pasadena High School unless the straps are at least two inches wide. The dress code standards were presented at class wide assemblies this week. I'm against the way that they present it to us. They showed it in a way that girls should be ashamed of their bodies, and it showed it in a way that even though they said that it's an equal opportunity for education through dress code, that girls are distracting and that they should be pulled out of class to change while boys stayed in class. Many of the female students we spoke with say they were being unfairly targeted and they posted their concerns on social media. I think it really isn't fair to females that they are considered distracting when we're not teaching males that it's not okay to just treat women as objects of pleasure and like sexual objects. Many schools ban clothes that could be considered gang related and included sagging pants and revealing underwear. However, Pasadena High School standards of dress also included sleeveless undershirts, strapless spaghetti straps, off the shoulder, cutout designs and sundresses, as well as low cut or tight shirts. The school is also looking at banning leggings and yoga pants. I just go to school to be comfortable. I'm here to learn like it shouldn't matter what I'm wearing at the end of the day. We spoke with one of the assistant principals here at Pasadena High School who said that they have not made a decision yet on yoga pants. She also told me that they are not targeting any particular sex here on the campus. She said that their goal is to focus on education and to eliminate distractions. In Pasadena, Amy Johnson, CBS 2 News.